What you did? Probation worker. Oh my god, I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm Nathan McMullen. I, I'm Leo. I'm Finn. This is Misfits, episode five. This episode is all about a damsel in distress. She's a little bit socially awkward herself, a bit like him, so, you know, it's a bit of a, a nice match for them. Well, have a good night. Having a great night anyway, already. I'm Lawrence Goff, uh, director of Misfits, uh, episode five. Essentially, it's about a, a, a woman who's uh, agoraphobic and never goes out. Leah? I can hear you. I know something happened to you in the storm. In the, in the storm, she's got the power to download into people. Leah? It's kind of unfortunate that the first time he meets a girl that he likes, it turns out that it's not her, but it is in somebody else's body, so there's a lot of working out for him to do. You like to play games? We're privy as an audience to know what's going on with him, but he's no idea. And that, that's great, and it play, he plays it brilliantly. Well, you better watch yourself. So if you want to play, then you're playing with a player. She finds Finn, falls in love with Finn instantly, and uh, downloads into him and brings him back to the flat and captures him in a virtual world. Do you want to tell me what's going on? Oh, when he does finally meet the real Leah. It's me. Leah. You spat biscuit in me face. I was... Downloaded into my friend's body. Leah is a bit of a recluse, which he, he sympathises with and, and recognises, you know, how she's feeling. When was the last time you left your flat? The day of the storm. Wow. I used to go out. She's someone that you you you, you like, you know, and you and you wanna you wanna help, and Finn sees that. Mm. <laughs> the biggest thing about Five was the flat, really, because you had the same space and you were lighting it for real, and then you were lighting it for virtual world. Where are you going? You, you can't keep me in here! Let me go! So every time we were virtual world, we swapped a coated lens and everything else was uncoated. So you get this, and there were these brand new lenses we picked up from Pinewood. He's in here. I'm on a memory stick. Life is just passing you by. Real life. And yeah, it's, it's shit sometimes. But you need the shit to appreciate the good things. It's a great performance from Nathan. And, uh, and, and it's, uh, you know, there's a little uh, a love blossoming within the episode. Uh, well, hang on, hang on. It's not just a one-off thing, is it? I mean... Yeah, I gotta be my girlfriend, don't you? Jess and Rudy. Rudy's in love with Jess, and uh, and so is Finn. And so Rudy does this thing where he, he films her going to the toilet uh, as a way of sending Finn the video, and he will be repulsed and see her in a different light. Jumped on the opportunity to have a little shit face like that, because <laughs> because you know you just want to do it. It's Rudy's attempt to finally make Finn see that he shouldn't be in love with this woman. Enjoy. <laughs> Is she taking a shit? Nobody makes noises the way she's made noises on that video. That's just outrageous. What if he's what the f Consider yourself cured of your childish infatuation. So yeah, it'd be one that I'd be sending my friends anyway. Why have you sent me a video of just taking a shit? Hey? Yeah, I, I got one of those too. Shit! It was you, wasn't it? Let me just say my defence, though. We've all made bloody mistakes. Ah! 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 What the fuck? Ah! 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 